this girl in the video is hot. Thank you for what you bring to the table. Love this video. Aubrey, video slobbery. Looking at the whip frame, that's a nice city. You should throw it to me like Tom Brady. This song just makes me feel so G. I don't care what anyone says. Trey Songs is fine as hell. Don't fight me. Don't at me. I'm sorry. Oh my god, this song cracks me up. I had no idea Kevin Hart raps, or maybe this is like a joke, but this like chocolate drop us song is hilarious. It just cracks me up. We good? We in focus? I don't do this for like a week and then I'm like all out of it. It feels like a year since I filmed a video. What is up you guys? Thank you so much for coming back. I think it's been six days since I've uploaded. Um, I have to really quick thank you guys so so much on my last video. That was the most comments I've got in so 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 long and all the prayers and well wishes and recovery for my ankle. You guys know I sprained my ankle and I tore in like two ligaments in my left foot pretty bad. If you want to roll on the floor laughing you can uh, head to my Instagram story before it expires and see me like hobbling around this morning on one foot. Uh, today is like the first day that I could truly have enough energy to be productive, get ready. I have to film some videos and some uh, video tutorials for my YouTube masterclass students. So yeah, it's kind of, I don't want to say the past few days have been miserable because I've been trying to look on the positive side and take this time to relax a little bit and um, journal and just like get other things in order in my house, like bills and organization and stuff. But the first few days I was definitely extremely upset of course with any injury or anything that goes wrong in your life like out that you weren't expecting you're always like oh why me but I kind of just adjusted my plan a little bit and I am able to at least be productive and get some work done this week so I can't really move around too much um, so in this video I thought it'd be cool to do a sit down um, a tea time I actually those were my most popular videos like probably like six months back but I kept um, repeating a lot of information in those and those of you who've been here for so long you wanted me to ans start answering a lot of new questions but I always just want to feel like the new person coming to my channel I want you to know who I am and stuff so I tend to like repeat stuff and you know like ramble a lot and all that that's just me but I'm gonna link tea time number one down below if you're new that tells you everything about myself my son his birth like what I share on my YouTube my life everything we've been through all the goods so if you're new don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, check out that first video to get to know me a little bit better. Uh, but for today, we're gonna pull up Snap. I only asked for questions today on Snapchat and on Twitter, and I said to make them juicy. I was like, anything or nothing is off limit. Also, this is just like what we're gonna have to work with the hair for now. I did go ahead and order some burgundy extensions, which will be coming soon, but I clipped in my brown ones today, so I, I'm kind of liking the ombre effect, uh, but I don't know. All right, let's just. Let's just hop right into the goods because that's what y'all are here for. Have I ever had beef with another YouTuber and what do I think about this whole like drama channel phenomenon? Uh, okay, so at the beginning, I didn't like any like drama channel at all. I thought it was hurtful to share like super personal information about someone like the whole thing right now with Jaclyn Hill and her divorce. I would never, I think there's a way where you can like cover drama or like current topics in a nice way. Um, but going like super deep into someone's personal life, I know if I was going through a divorce or something extremely personal that I hadn't put that information out there myself first. You know, like on my channel, I feel I'm super transparent. I share a lot with you guys. So if I have already talked about something and then someone else mentions it, like that's okay because I've kind of already like outed myself or made it known that I, that's a part of my life that I wanna share with you guys. I don't agree with people diving super deep into like cheating or someone's divorce or something like that. And I also really thought at the beginning that drama channels were like really nasty and just like mean, cold-hearted people. Um, I still don't really like that Karina girl. She gives me bad, real bad vibes. I don't vibe with that at all. But people like Peter Mon and like Rich Lux, I think they're hilarious and they're good people. Like they are not out to truly hurt people. If you watch multiple of their videos, like if you look at the titles, you may think, oh, they're trying to drag this person or they're just trying to create drama. Of course, that's what you think, right? Because the world is just clickbait, right? Everyone wants clicks on their videos, that's myself included. You work super hard on your videos, so you wanna draw people in, but once you realize their personality, 
Like Rich Lux makes me crack my shit up. He is absolutely hilarious to me. Uh, and same with Peter Mon. Peter Mon's like whole story about losing his mom and everything he's been through really touched my heart and I think he's a really kind person. Um, so I'm totally cool like with them, but I personally just don't um, agree with the drama that goes super deep into someone's personal life or like truly crosses lines because I would never want that done to me Just don't like morally think that's okay. So a lot of you are asking about my son's dad I won't skip over the question because you know, I'm open with you guys, but I will make it short and sweet um, I'm probably never talking to him again in my life. I don't want anything to do with him He doesn't want anything to do with us. He's got his own life and relationship. I will never reach out and bug him I support Christian on my own and that's just that like so another main question is what will I do after YouTube? Um, I feel like I have a lot of options uh, First of all just like a tip out there if you are trying to have social media be your full-time job I've talked about this before but try to set up as many revenue streams for yourself possible um, People ask me all the time. Don't you know YouTube won't last forever like I'm so 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 aware um, Obviously, I hope that my community will stick with me with Christian. I'm gonna continue vlogging um, I'm gonna continue doing YouTube until it's not genuinely fun and a passion for me anymore because I want to Share stuff on camera that you guys want to see but also that's fun for me And that's like genuine when I'm filming it So I definitely see myself doing this for a few more years And then I do have my Academy courses and my ebooks and stuff and I'm like affiliates with certain companies So I make money that way my hope is to keep growing my audience so that when people use my affiliate codes and stuff like that I'm making money in my sleep. So as the years go on if I don't want to film as much I won't have to um, like I said, or when it just doesn't become fun, maybe I will kind of switch what I do career-wise. Uh, but you guys know within the past like two years, I've become so genuinely passionate about fitness as well. Um, a lot of you always DM me and ask me if I can give you like workouts and macros. I'm not certified yet, which I've told you guys, I don't feel comfortable giving any anyone anything like that. Um, I would love to get certified through NASM, maybe within this next year, uh, because I, I'm not gonna say I'm hoping, I am going to hit my final goal weight this year, it's happening. Like, I'm at a really, really good place mentally and physically with my fitness and stuff, um, and I would love to be a certified trainer at some point, so I'll definitely maybe go that route in the future. Um, and then I've mentioned before, in my Girl Boss and Law of Attraction videos, I absolutely love public speaking or just some way of helping I totally have a heart for helping other young single moms. So whether, I don't know, if that be like business conventions or uh, public speaking somewhere or doing like meetups or just something I can do um, on a little bit more public level where I can meet a lot of you guys in person would be incredible. I was talking actually on my Snapchat a few nights ago at, or on my um, Instagram live about doing a meetup in LA soon, I wanna do something where you guys can actually register. So it's a smaller amount of people, so I know the amount of people who are coming, I can like bring food for you guys. I don't wanna do something where it's like we can hug and then you leave. I want to do something a little bit more intimate. Um, I know some of my friends who are also social media influencers have hosted retreats and they've taken like 10 or 15 girls for like a weekend trip. Um, I wanna do something like that that's a little bit more in depth where we can do yoga together, like talk about you know, our lives and our struggles and really connect and have a group of women um, to really meet up in person and do that. Um, I know that when I've pushed myself out of my comfort zone this past year and met up with people in person, it is so amazing and like so fulfilling and like being friends with people on social media is amazing, but I'm very introverted as well and I can film all my videos from home. So I really have to push myself to get out of the house and like go meet with people. Like when I go visit my brother in LA, I've been stopping to see some friends. Um, and that has been really good for me mentally to like get out of my shell a little bit. So I would love to meet up with some of you ladies as well who are willing to maybe share your life story and I don't know, have a day together, a weekend together, something like that. But yeah, I'm super into public speaking and fitness. So I see both of those being like possible career options after YouTube. So a lot of you guys are asking why I started YouTube in the first place. And I feel like this is really common with a bunch of creators. I believe it was Shane, was it Shane? Who I watched a video of months back and he said he really had no friends growing up in middle school and high school and just felt so out of place. Um, and I know for me in high school, you guys, I've been over with like my life story and stuff. I had really, really bad anxiety, um, hor horrible binge eating. Like my face was full of acne, no self-confidence. I didn't really fit in in any like friend group. Um, and I didn't, I didn't know what I wanted to do like for my life or my career or anything. I had no idea that I would go into social media whatsoever. Um, and I think slowly, obviously I didn't expect my YouTube channel to grow as it did. Um, and as I kind of grew up like a real community and tribe of people who I felt were truly invested in me and my son, I really started to feel like I had some good friends. And I feel like with YouTube, a lot of YouTube creators, it's kind of the same thing. You don't really feel like maybe you have anyone super close in person who you can really connect with or talk to. So that's why, you know, people start blogs or start something online so they can kind of make their own community. And I feel that I've been so, so blessed through social media 
I know social media can be a negative thing and be hard on your self-image and it can look like it's a big competition if you look at it that way, but if you choose to look at it the positive way, um, I have made so many friends through social media and through YouTube. I can't even put into words how grateful I am and how much that's made me feel like I really have people who care about me. I know every single YouTuber is like, oh, my subscribers are the best. No, mine are the best. No, screw that. Mine are the best. You guys are just incredible. Like I've said so many times and I know I'm repetitive in my videos, but to have you reach out and message me when I hurt my ankle or when something's going wrong with my son, with his lung condition, to have people who not only watch your videos, but who I truly feel are like very invested in our lives and you take take the time to send me these long emails and share your stories with me about your premature baby or whatever it may be. There are no words for that. Um, so yeah, I originally, I just really, you know, started YouTube to, I wanted to document my journey as a single mom because I didn't know how I was going to save up money or be like successful, but I knew I would find a way somehow. And I always wanted, as I got older, to keep looking back on the videos and remember like literally where I came from. Um, you guys know when I first had Christian, I had no money. I had to quit my retail job. Um, and not just having no money, I was literally in debt. So I had no money in the bank, plus I was in debt. I think at the most I was in was like 12 or $13,000 of debt from school. Couldn't work at all because of Christian. And then I've been through three really crappy, like not too great of apartments, could barely afford them, had to ask my dad for money for rent. And now I'm in the nicest condo I've been in. And I'm, you know, not only doing YouTube videos, I've got my eBooks, I've got my Girl Boss Academy um, courses, which something is something back then I never thought I would launch. But just seeing myself being able to like build up this business within social media and support Christian, I have such a heart for wanting to share that with other single moms or just other young, hardworking moms whether you're single or not. Um, so yeah, I'm extremely, extremely proud of just everything I've you know, built through social media and I want that for you guys. I get messages every day of those of you who are trying to make social media or YouTube or Instagram a living and it's so, so, so possible. Um, if you guys would like to join my masterclass, I would love to have you. I would be honored to teach you every single thing that I know. I have an Instagram course and a YouTube course which teaches you just everything about how to make a living on those platforms from scratch. Um, the ladies who I already have in the class are doing great and it's just, it's really fulfilling for me. You know, whenever I, even if you're not in my class, whenever I just get a DM of, of that, you guys watch like one of my boss babe videos on YouTube and you've been able to save money or better your credit, just to know that my content could impact people in a positive way, like there's nothing, nothing better. Mama, what does the tattoo on your arm say? I always see it, but can't make out what it says. Love ya. Love you too, babe. Um, the tattoo on my arm, it's cursive right here. Goes like up to here. Um, I think I'm gonna get this whole like forearm area done. I've always wanted to, but I'm kind of a baby and I don't know exactly what I would get. I think I wanna dedicate it to my son. But right here it is in Spanish. It says, si lo puedes soñar, lo puedes hacer, which is just, if you can dream it, you can do it. And I know that's like a very corny or like cliche saying, but to me, I don't know, there's something about it. I got this um, two summers ago when I was really on my fitness grind and I was doing like, this sounds weird, but this is just how it is, like planks and stuff on the ground. And I would be like pouring sweat uh, up on my arms, like looking down at my arm. And I feel like if I can look down and see a motivational message right there, it really keeps me going, not just in fitness, but in life. And I really do think that anything that you visualize, you can materialize. I, I don't think that, I know it, I know it's true. So it's just a constant reminder to me every single day. That's why I wanted to get it on the front of my body um, to just remind myself to keep pushing in life overall. And I do have a Bible verse and a flower on my back, which I'll be super honest with y'all and say that I don't like anymore. I got it like the day I turned 18, right after high school graduation. My parents finally let me get a tattoo and the guy did not do a very good job. Um, the flowers like, it's bleeding out of the lines, so I, but it's pretty big. It's like this big. So I wanna get it covered up, but I don't know something I'd wanna like cover it up with or what would actually look good over that. But, but it is trust in the Lord with all your heart and he will give you your true desires, which I still resonate really well with that Bible verse. It's just the way the flower and everything was. It, it doesn't look too good, okay? Uh, but yeah, I do wanna get some more tats on my arm right here. I wanna get something for Christian, which I wanna tell you guys, yeah, that's gonna be my next one. I already have that in mind. And then something on the front of my arm, but I don't know what. Try to make it something that's cool that I like in this phase of life, but that I'll still like when I'm older, you know? But anyways, um, I'm pretty sure this tea time was hella long, like all my other ones. So thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. You guys are amazing. Come check out my Instagram story. Um, I've been posting like crazy on there. I post like 30 little snaps yesterday. If you want to see what I'm eating, workouts, pretty much anything, uh, that's where it's all going down. I've pretty kind of like abandoned Snapchat. I don't, I'm not vibing with it anymore. Let me know in the comments. Do you really go on Snap and really check for snaps? 
because I'll post more on there. I want to put stuff out on the platforms you guys are on, but I feel like no one's on there anymore. Um, check out my last video that Brian edited for me. It was a workout video. I think it's my best video ever, and we worked really hard on it, and I, it was a lot of like time and money investment to get him to make that for me. It's like really cinematic. Um, I'm proud of it, and you guys have already given me awesome feedback on it, so thank you. I will be rehiring him for those of you who ask, but I just need you guys to give the videos a like, just drop a comment, anything you can do, uh, because whatever I make in AdSense, I will take that money and put that back into hiring him. Um, so yeah, just thanks for being here. Thanks for following along my journey. I love you guys and appreciate you. Do not forget to subscribe. If you already got like 25 minutes into this tea time, you're already here. You're already invested. Subscribe. You, you got nothing else to do. Subscribe. I love you. Appreciate you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Mwah.